a review of constructed wetland on type, treatment and technology of wastewater. Constructed wetland are practiced for the primary and secondary treatment of wastewater. It is a sustainable and low-cost treatment technology. The main objectives of review are Review of removal rates of pollutants in constructed wetland Comparison of constructed wetland with other treatment technologies Constructed wetlands are of two types Surface flow constructed wetland and subsurface flow constructed wetland Free water surface constructed wetland is a natural wetland in which wastewater flows over the surface in the horizontal flow constructed wetland, the wastewater flows from inlet of the bed to the outlet of the bed horizontally. Vertical flow constructed wetland is a wetland in which wastewater enters from the top of the wetland and drained out from the bottom. The French-based constructed wetland is a two-stage vertical flow constructed wetland arranged in a parallel manner and functions in series. Hybrid constructed wetland is a system having a multi-stage of the treatment. It is the combination of horizontal flow constructed wetland and vertical flow constructed wetland. The baffled subsurface flow constructed wetland consists of vertical baffle which guides the wastewater to flow up and down. In the aerated constructed wetland to fulfill the oxygen requirement, aeration is done inside the wetland bed. Multi-tropic free flow engineered wetland consists of wastewater in a tank in which floating aquatic plant grows. Technologies of constructed wetland are phytrid technology and soil biotechnology. In phytrid technology, wastewater flows into the primary unit sedimentation tank and then flow into the phytrid bed. Soil biotechnology is a treatment process which is done by the soil microorganism. Different types of media can be used in the wetland to improve its efficiency. Various types of vegetation are planted in the constructed wetlands. From all of them, Phragmites australis and Typhalatifolia shows higher removal efficiency. The removal efficiency is identified by treating various types of wastewater using different design setup, media and plantation. Comparison of different sewage treatment plants on the basis of removal percentage of biochemical oxygen demand. Removal percentage of chemical oxygen demand Removal percentage of total suspended solids Analysis of different types of constructed wetland on the basis of biochemical oxygen demand removal Chemical oxygen demand removal Total suspended solids removal On the basis of total nitrogen and total phosphorus removal Advantages of constructed wetland it is a low-cost treatment with low operation and maintenance cost. It removes nitrogen and phosphorus. Disadvantages of constructed wetland are Constructed wetland plant requires regular harvesting and it requires larger area. Various research studies have already been carried out in the field of constructed wetland but still further research is required as per the review outcome. A constructed wetland can be adopted for the treatment of different types of wastewater. Constructed wetland has removal efficiencies 80 to 91% BOD, 60 to 85% COD, 80 to 95% TSS, 20 to 50% total nitrogen and 10 to 20% total phosphorus. The review paper of the studies published in the Environmental Technology and Innovation 